Hello, grade three. Today we will learn a new lesson, and our lesson today is talking about the area. But we studied the area before in the first term. Who can remember how can I find the area for this figure? I have two ways. By counting the small squares. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So the area here equal six square units. What about the second method? Excellent. I will multiply number of row times number of columns. Here I have two rows and I have three columns. So the area here equal two times three equal also six square units. What about this one? What about this figure? Here I don't have small squares inside this figure. What should I do? How can I find the area for this one? First, what is the name for this polygon? Excellent, it's a square. And here I have rule to find the area for square. The area of the square here equals side length times itself. Side length times itself. You have to keep the rule. The area of the square equals side length times itself. If the side length here equal, uh, say, مثلا, 2, so the area equal 2 times 2. If the side length of the square equal 3, so the area here equal 3 times 3. The number times itself. Okay, so if the side length of this square equal 4 cm, and I need to find the area, first step you have to write the rule. Don't forget writing the rule. The rule said what? The, er the area equals side length times itself. And then substitute the side length here equals what? Equal 4. So I will write 4 times 4 equals 16 square centimeter 16 what square centimeter because centimeter times centimeter equals square centimeter okay what about this shape what is the name for this shape excellent it's rectangle what is the rule here i have a new rule of the area of the rectangle equals length times width. Again, the area of the rectangle equal length times width. Where is the length? The longest side here called length. The longest side here called length. And the shortest side here called width. If the length of this rectangle equals 6 cm and the width equals 3 cm, we said before, don't forget writing the rule. The rule here said what? The, the area equal length times width and then substitute here the length equals 6 and the width equals 3. So write here 6 times 3 and 6 times 3 from the timetables from the first term equals 18 square centimeter. Don't forget the unit, don't forget the rule. So let's revise faster. The area of the square equals side length times itself and the area of the rectangle equals length times width. Okay, exercise number one, find the area for the, the first example. Here I have a square and the side length equal 3 cm. And for letter B, I have rectangle and the width here equal 2 cm, but the length here equal 7 cm. We said before to find the area for the square or the rectangle, you have to write the rule. The rule of the area of the square is side length times itself. 
The side lengths here equal 3, so 3 times 3 equals 9 square centimeter. What about the second example? The area of the rectangle equals what? Equals the length times width. And the length here equals 7, and the width here equals 2. So 7 times 2 equals 14 square centimeter. Again, don't forget to write the rule, don't forget to write the unit. And you have to revise timetables from timetable 2 to timetable 9. It shows, exercise number 2, it shows the correct answer. Letter A, the length of square whose area 9 square centimeter is what? We said before the area of square equals side length times itself. So here I need two numbers, two same numbers. When I multiply them together, the result will be 9. 2 times 2 give me 9. No. 9 times 9 give me 9. No. 81 times itself 81 give me 9. No. 3 times 3 equals 9. Yes. So side length here equals 3 centimeter. What about letter B? The area of rectangle whose dimension 3 centimeter and 7 centimeter. What about what is the meaning of dimension? Dimension here means length and width. The length here equals 7. And the width here equals 3. To find the area of the rectangle, multiply the length by the width. So 7 times 3, excellent, equals 21. So the area of this rectangle equals 21 square centimeter. What about letter C? The width of rectangle whose area 35 square centimeter. Here I have the area. And its length is 7 centimeter. Here I need the width. What should I do? Let's remember the rule of the rectangle. The area equals length times width. And here I have the area and I have the length. And I need the width. What should I do? To find the width of the rectangle, to find the width of the rectangle, divide the area by the length. Again, to find the width, divide the area by the length. And to find the length, divide the area by the width. So, the width here equals what? 35 divided by 7. Which number I multiply by 7 give me 35? Excellent, 5. So the width here equals what? Equals 5 centimeter. Here I have finished grade 3. Goodbye, see you, see you later in another session. Thank you, bye.